Right, so here's a follow-up video from uh, my original video a year ago when I first bought the Skyline. As you can see, for those who've seen the original video, it looks very different. Uh, it was white originally, now I've had it wrapped in uh, in orange and 4D carbon on the bonnet and the roof and the rear boot. So, like I say, as you can see, it's very different from a year ago. So, I'll treat this like it is the first video and let's uh, have a walk around and have a look at it. So, this is a 1996 R33 Skyline, a 2.5 single turbo. It's the Spec 2, which is the, the last of the shape of the R33. It's slightly different. Uh, the front headlights are slightly different. They're a bit squarer at the corners. Um, the bonnet's uh, got um, grooves on it, which gives it more aggression. It's got the fog lamps and the indicators are in the little pod clusters on the sides. Right, so this has had all the Stage 1 modifications done. It's got an RSP Stage 1 ECU aftermarket. Um, it's been uh, on a rolling road recently at a 311 brake horsepower at low boost. At higher boost it's capable of a lot more, so I've got a lot of uh, room to play with that. As you can see, it's got quite a lot of uh, vinyl decals at the moment. Uh, I've bought a decal cutter. I'm actually uh, making them myself. So the ones you can see have actually been done by myself at home. And uh, obviously I do uh, custom jobs for people. This is the uh, website, uh, stickyvinyl.com, um, the decal solution. That's where you can get all your up-to-date decals from, your vinyl stickers, if you're interested in that sort of thing. This one's got pretty much the same modifications it had a year ago. It's got 18-inch alloys on it. It's got a front-mounted intercooler on the front there. It's got a GTR rear spoiler on the back. If you ever walk around, we can have a look at that. It's a genuine GTR spoiler with the uh, Nissan uh, stamps on it. It's got the illuminated rear badge. It's got June rear spats on it. It's got June uh, side skirts fitted. And it's also got vented fiberglass wings. Let's have a look inside, shall we? Right, the interior is pretty special. It's got full rear upholstered leather seats in front and back, which is quite a rarity as most of them have just the cloth seats. You can see I've got a child seat in the back as well, so it really is a good size car. You can use it for for a family car if you want. It's got the airbag there on the, the Spec 2 has the airbag. Um, the original video I showed it had the Apexi airflow converter. I've had that removed um, along with the BR rev limiter, which, which was down the side. It was causing quite a lot of ignition problems, so I removed the BR um, rev limiter and that cured it, but the Apexi um, airflow meter was actually plugged into the whole lot, so the whole lot had to come out, so it's left this uh, Skyline uh, plate behind, which was a nice surprise, so I'll leave that there for the time being. Still got the chrome surround, I'm going to get that wrapped in orange as well. Uh, as before, the interior light is blue, I've got blue interior lights up there. I've got the Momo aftermarket steering wheel, and I've also got the plasma dials as well. If you look down here, you can just see the uh, electronic boost controller as well. That's a gizmo boost controller. Okay, so that's the inside. Um, let's uh, start the engine. Right, just like the last video, uh, typical British weather, it's uh, started raining again. Let's just fire up and let's hear what the engine sounds like. So that's the RB25 engine, 2.5 turbo. I'll go through the dashboard again like I did last time. You've got the standard boost gauge down there, obviously indicators, blah, 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 rev counter, oil pressure, uh, fuel gauge, I need to go to the petrol station, and then you've got the uh, temperature there for the engine, so it's uh, starting from cold. So we'll let that warm up a little bit. Um, what I'll do is, like I did in the last video, let's have a quick sound of the uh, exhaust and give you an idea what it sounds like. Right, this is a... Uh, where the uh, vinyl wraps melted around the exhaust because it gets that hot. So let's sit inside. Ah, let's give that a little rev. Just hear the uh, return valve there, chucking the air about. So that's it running. Let's just turn this off. Right, let's have a quick look under the bonnet. Let's go and grab that. Right, so you can see the original car colour is still white inside the engine bay. I've got the uh, coil pack cover off at the moment because I'm inspecting the coil packs. 
um, and it's going to need new spark plugs soon. Uh, as you can see, it's got quite a lot of chrome dressing on it. It's got the uh, fuse box here that's chromed up. Uh, the intercooler's just down there, if you have a look. That's it just there. It's got an uh, aftermarket air filter. Um, it did originally have a, a boost or a dump valve on it. I first bought it, but I've had it um, put back to standard. It's got the standard Nissan return recirculation valve there, and it runs a lot better. Uh, because it's got a mass airflow uh, air, air meter there, it accounts for the air that gets dumped out if you've got an atmosphere above, so it's causing problems. Uh, like I say, it runs a lot a lot better now with that on, so let's uh, fire up. Right, that's the engine running. Give you an idea what it sounds like. Sweet as a nut. Got a distinctive sound, just like the Subaru, the RV25, straight six cylinder. Sounds pretty sweet when you put your foot down. Right, um, let's go for a drive. Oh. Right, I've just put my £10 worth of petrol in, so let's see how far that gets me. Probably about 10 miles. Let's go. Seat belt every time. Get the window down a bit so we can hear the exhaust. Let's go. One thing you notice about the skyline is that everybody stares at you, they all want to race you, um, you get people taking pictures, at traffic lights, things like that, so let's go. Right, the road's a bit wet, so I'm not really going to hammer it, it's a bit tail happy this car, 320 horsepower to the back wheels, it's, it's all over the place, you can see it's still raining as well. Subaru Impreza is around, there's not many skylines so it does get quite a lot of attention, people waving at you and those sort of things, let's just spin around here, right then, it's clear, get back out, got a set of traffic lights, get through there and then we're back on the uh, dual carriageway, right, I might do a bit of a fancy edit here and then I'll come back on again when we're running because I'll be sat here now for about five minutes. Oh, lights have gone to green now, let's go. It's like Santa Pod, let's go. Right then. Oh, the sunshine's coming out up there, look. Traffic lights, unfortunately, guys, uh, it's not our day today. Just wave at the uh, Honda Civic there. Woo Give us a wave. Right then. Welcome to the A38, land of traffic lights. Right, so let's go.
it's been set up a lot better now. A lot of the uh, turbo piping needed reworking, so I've got Tony at Big T's to sort that out. He's a, a bit of a skyline guru, so he's sorted all that out. So it's boosting pretty well at the moment. Yeah, it's quite smooth. Um, so I've not driven many, so I haven't really got much to compare it to, but it's a lot of power. Uh, you do struggle to get it down in damp conditions. It, it wheel spins in the dry as well. It's got two, four, five tyres on the back. It still struggles. Anyway, it's the uh, joys of owning a, a Skyline, I suppose. Thank you. 